This is Slappy Bird, but instead of pressing a button or a spacebar, I'm controlling it by moving my head up and down. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to build it step by step. We'll start with the game itself. I made a basic Flappy Bird clone. Nothing too fancy. Pipes keep spawning, collisions are checked, the score goes up as you pass pipes, and the bird is drawn based on its Y position, which is stored in a variable called Bird Y. The bird moves with Bird Y velocity. If the value is positive, the bird goes up, and if it's negative, it falls down. All of this runs in a function called Run Game, which takes one argument, delta i y. Don't worry, we'll get into what that means in just a second. Now for the fun part, computer vision. In a new file, I imported two libraries, Yolo and OpenCV. Yolo is a machine learning model that can detect human features like eyes, arms, and legs. OpenCV, or CV2, is what lets us use a webcam and draw on the frames. I also need to get the Run Game function from the other file. I created a Yolo model object, connected OpenCV to my webcam, and set up two variables, iy and old iy. These track the vertical position of the eye over time. Inside a loop, I captured each frame, ran Yolo's pose detection, and got back a bunch of key points. I updated old iy, set iy to the left eye's position, and drew a small circle to see that it was tracking the eye correctly. Then I calculated the change in position, iy minus old iy. If the values weren't available, I set it to zero. That difference became delta iy. Finally, I called Run Game and passed in delta iy. That number updates the bird's velocity, which then gets multiplied by 0.75 to keep the motion smooth. At the end, I display the video feed with the overlays, and boom, a working Flappy Bird game which you can play with just your head. Follow for more fun tutorials like this one.